Previously on Search and Restore, a road trip down to Louisiana, our builders found some spicy cuisine in a tired Jeep with an owner needing a helping hand. We brought it back, ripped into the body and the frame. Today, the drivetrain and a color that a few of the guys are questioning. I think it's, uh, it's bold, bold blue. I think you should call it strange blue. In just six months, over 200,000 PowerBlock viewers have sent in applications for our makeover project. The hardest part is choosing who gets the call. We've seen it all. Hot rods, classics, new cars, muscle cars, motorcycles, even some motorhomes. But what we're looking for are some really good stories. People in need wanting us to redo their projects for them. Tim Strange leads up our build team. He's an award-winning custom hot rod builder with a unique combination of skill meticulous painter, fabricator, and jokester. We need a hug, we need a hug, he needs a hug. See, you ready for your friskin'? The Jeep has really been a blast so far. The entire off-road community has stepped up, donated parts to give back. Jason's gonna hit the trail on this thing and he's gonna be the envy of all of his buddies. Uh, we're the Smilser family. This is my wife, Jeannie. This is my child, Haley. This is Beth, and this is Karen. We love to go whaling. Jason asked us to pump up his 01 TJ, but it was his love of giving that drew us to his story. He's hooping and hollering the whole way. <laughs> he loves riding the rustic, wooded trails of his Louisiana homeland. Jason Smelser and his buddies have ridden ATVs for most of their lives. The most meaningful ride of their lives happens almost every Sunday of the summer. It makes your heart swell up. It, it's a really cool thing, and uh, I wouldn't take nothing else in the world for it. Med Camps of Louisiana holds a series of free one-week camps for children facing the challenges of physical and mental disabilities. Now this week is designed for children with cerebral palsy. They don't have to worry about anybody judging them or as one camper put it, they don't have to worry about anybody laughing at them because they're all in the same boat facing the same challenges. After Sunday's registration, parents will go back home and the campers will have a whole week to have fun and just be a kid. And this camp just pulls it all together in one week and allows them to go fishing and canoeing and swimming and riding ATVs. You ready to go for a ride? Yeah. With the counselor riding on the back to ensure safety, each camper is treated to what is often their first ever ATV adventure. Jason and all the volunteers make sure it's an adventure full of joy and laughter. Oh, that was, that was fun. so fun. <laughs> I like to say, oh. I've seen Jason in tears at med camp. It's unreal. Just uh, what you get out of it, it's hard to describe. No doubt, sacrificing every Sunday afternoon, week after week, is a commitment for Jason and his fellow riders but you get the feeling that they're the ones who derive the most genuine satisfaction. Smiles, laughs, smiles, hugs. Just as long as I know that I made them happy. You know, that's, that's, that's all I need. <laughs> no doubt Jason will be happy with his Jeep's motor makeover, thanks in part to Bo and John Shacklett's top-notch machine work. It's even better than new after complete machining. Adding new rings and bearings from rockauto.com made the mission even more complete. Man. And now all that's needed, a couple of horsepower guys to put it all together. Back at the booth and all the tub work complete, it's time to lay down some color. First, some Raptor urethane coating donated by Auto Body Color and Supply. It's not just blue, it's blue! This thing they're taking out in the woods, the timbers, mud trail, all kinds of stuff. They can just pressure wash the thing out top and bottom. Tim loves the bold, bigger than life color. Others aren't quite sure what to think. It's, I, I thought you were gonna do it in blue. Isn't it funny how janitors think they're color experts? Mr. Strange has a concise answer for anyone who asks him why he chose that particular shade. Because I can. Next, rebuilding the straight six. Plus later, just how blue is too blue. Stay tuned. 
We're in the middle of week three and the Jeep's progress is about to pick up the pace big time. Before the body heads to the paint booth, all the metal work needs to be completed. Refusing to settle for good enough, Tim chases down the perfect fit. Got the hood off, we're still sitting on top of these fenders and there was like two finger of a gap up here. So that wouldn't be cool. So we're bringing it down so it looks more uniform all the way around. The rough cutting it. Then I'm gonna try to roll a little bit of an edge in so it's not a raw edge. You thought it was some big rocket science tip? Nope, we're just gonna grab power pliers and bend some metal around. The result is a nice tight gap. Now only if Tim could do something about that hat Chris is wearing. Something like that. <laughs> awesome. Over in our engine area, John and Mike prepare for a rebuild. A stock inline six is quite a departure for the guys. But even with two less cylinders than usual, it all starts with the cleaning before the first piece from the rebuild kit, which will be the rear main seal. We want to make sure the big part of the lip is towards the front of the engine and that the seal isn't put in even with the block. We want it offset a little bit to make sure it has a good seal at the back. By the way, they only had to take 10 thousandths off at the machine shop. What we're doing right now with the silicone is putting a little bit right in between the cap and the block to avoid any leaks. Now we're checking the piston ring clearance. Now they're supposed to be pre-fit, but don't always trust it. Go ahead and double check them just to make sure so you don't rip the top of the piston off. The rings and pistons were part of a master rebuild kit donated by rockauto.com. They also gave us a new oil pump, flat tap it camshaft, timing set, now with proper markings, and of course, flat tap it lifters. The magnet for the installation, well, that came from the toolbox. Come on, Hercules. After a safety clean sonic cleaner bath, the stock push rods and rocker arms are like new, just like the valve cover with fresh paint, and of course, the four liters oil pan. I think painting this gray to match the body armor would be really subtle yeah. when you open the hood. Now, more new paint for a classic engine from a vehicle with over 70 years of American history. Born of necessity, hand-built in seven days, the first Jeep was the answer to America's military needs for a fast, lightweight, all-terrain reconnaissance vehicle. The top brass said it had to be four-wheel drive with a wheelbase of no more than 80 inches. It had to have a payload capacity of 600 pounds and a cooling capacity for sustained low speeds without overheating. Ford and Willys answered Uncle Sam's call, together producing more than 5,000 units in 1941. After the war, a civilian Jeep market was ready and waiting. In fact, the moniker CJ was short for civilian Jeep. The original 1940s Jeep legacy lives on thanks to Wrangler models traversing the backcountry trails. With initial names like YJ, JK, and of course, TJ. In recent years, 4x4 followers have increasingly treated their tough rides to a myriad of modifications using their skills and aftermarket goodies to give their Jeeps more attitude and even better performance. With the body move to the booth and mask, Tim's ready to begin painting. I am doing base coat clear coat on it just so it looks a little prettier, but I'm not gonna do any priming, blocking. The sealer can be applied to the original finish. After this step is done, the Jeep's body is ready for base coat. We're mixing up some blue base coat here some DBC base from PPG. I like the really bright blue. Everybody else is giving me a hard time for picking this bright of blue, because you might get beat up at the trail. I don't think so. More donated parts and more volunteers. Plus, Tim gives the Smelser family a blue preview. That is blue. <laughs> I really like bright colors, especially if they're gonna go out in the woods on the trail. I think you ought to be able to see this baby coming from all the way down at the other end. I picked a really bright, no metallic, solid blue, so if they scratch it, it's gonna be pretty easy to touch it up. It's gonna be really bright. The final step, several layers of clear coat. Once the clear coat dries, it's time to unmask the body and take a look. 
think it's bright enough. With the masking tape coming off, it's time for the rest of the engine components to go on. Rugged Ridge supplied us with one of their black ceramic exhaust headers. And Mike refurbished the original aluminum intake with a shiny black powder coat. Next, on goes the throttle body, pulleys, and the accessory brackets. Finally, time to drop her back into the frame and made her up with the Trans, which has a freshly installed Monster in a Box kit from Monster Transmission. With the base coat down and cleared, let's see what Mike and Gino from Advanced Adapters think of the color. It's bright. It's blue. These guys came to replace the stock transfer case with an Atlas II, the best upgrade for hardcore off-roading. Stock transfer case was 2.7, meaning that every revolution coming into the, the transfer case is reduced 2.7 times. Ours is reducing it 3.8 times. In addition to its brute strength, the Atlas II features separate shift rails for the front and rear axles. For example, by placing the rear output in neutral and the front in low, power from the engine is diverted from the rear and every bit of it goes to the front axle. This is how you make those front or rear digs. When you're done, you just shift the lever to low range and you're back where you started. The guys will first install the twin stick shifter set up for the Atlas. First, some press-in bushings for the shifter sticks, or hammer-in in this case. Then, after set screws and assembling the cables, time to check the results. Two wheel high, four wheel high, two wheel high again, two wheel low, four wheel low, there's a front dig, and back to neutral. Now the old one comes out, twin stick goes in, ready and waiting for the transmission in that new transfer case. But before we do that, it's time to check in with our Jeep owner from his home in Louisiana. Hey Jason, how you doing today? Doing good. So you remember when we picked this Jeep up and you said we could do anything we wanted? Yes. yes. Remember that? <laughs> I don't know if you remember that your Jeep had this thing in it. Transfer case. <laughs> we decided off-roading was way too dangerous, so we're just going to make it a two-wheel drive so you can drive it safely to work. Is that okay? No, it's okay. not okay. <laughs> Actually, we decided that was a little too weak, so we've got some new, bigger, badder parts sitting over here that you can't see quite yet. All right. So would you like to see what your Jeep's looking like in its current state? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bring her in, boys. Oh, he's not pink. Front day. Hit the brake, hit the brake. Front day. And it's blue. blue. <laughs> so what do you think of this blue? Is it bright enough for you? That yes. is blue. That's blue. <laughs> Haley says blue, so it's blue, man. That is blue. That is blue. So it's not going to be all this color. We've got some other stuff that's going to go on it that will be another color. We won't tell you what that is until you see it. Man, I, re I really appreciate what y'all are doing. The kids at Made Camps, I know we're gonna love it. Y'all gonna make a lot of people happy, not just me and my family. So, uh, man, I really appreciate what y'all are doing. We're gonna get back to work on this thing and we'll see you in a couple weeks. We'll see you later. Thanks, Thanks guys. Well, take care. Next, protection for the body and frame when Search and Restore continues. It worked. They thought it was a roll cage. It was really little thing to catch wild animals. Lots to do to wrap up week three on our custom TJ. All these nice toys we got today. At the frame, Chris installs a new Flowmaster HP2 series muffler. Higher performance and small enough to make room for the Atlas II T-Case. Tim. More volunteers this week Coming include two again. West Coast Jeep fanatics whose companies cater to the hardcore aftermarket. So Gerald Lee runs Savvy Off-Road and donated a set of their low-profile billet taillights, lightweight aluminum skids, and front and rear bumpers. For us, when you have heavy equipment on your Jeep, it just makes it harder to get over waterfalls and get over obstacles. You know, my Jeep is 3,800 pounds, where everybody else's Jeep with a steel product will be over 5,000 pounds. So 1,000 pounds of weight to get over to trails is quite an advantage for us. No problem adding some essential weight in the form of this 9.5 TI winch donated by Warren. Evo Manufacturing specializes in body protection and suspension for TJs and JKs. 
These rock sliders will add two and a half inches of ground clearance down the side of the body. But Evo's owner, Mel Wade, didn't expect to rock the boat with his boat sides. I think we got to cut on the fresh paint no matter what. They won't fit flat and flush because of the protruding Jeep logos, which should have been cut out before the paint job. Tim is going to freak out. When he paints something, he has like an emotional attachment to it. It's quite sick, actually. It's just paint. What are you doing, Ian? I'm uh, just cutting on your fresh paint here. You're taking this way better than I thought. Here we go. I'm going to go away now. OK. See, even though he's handling it well, he won't watch it. He won't. And <laughs> yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to tell was the painter over here that, uh, hey, dude, I got to cut out your paint. So uh, Ian was nice enough to come on over and uh, cut it out for me. It all looks great with the body armor and roll cage on. And Tim feels a little vindicated. Look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? See? Look at all them smiling faces. Tim's not as big as an idiot as we thought he was. <laughs> Still an idiot, but maybe not as big. It's really, really come together. Um, everybody put everything they had into it. Um, between the body work and the chassis, this is a 100% package that Jason will really enjoy. Everything on there is brand new. There's nothing that's been reused. Starter, alternator, compressor, belt. Everything we could replace has been replaced. You'd have to work real hard to break something on this rig. I hope he does try really hard, though. I met the family, and I think the little girl, Haley, is going to absolutely freak out because she was all about this Jeep. This was one of the things. She, it was like a jungle gym for her. I think she's going to thoroughly enjoy it. I like to hang upside down. This thing is crazy. It's overbuilt. He'll be able to crawl over all kinds of things. Jason's going to be totally excited when he gets this thing back. And it won't be long now. Next time, the project wraps up and our deserving family arrives at the tech center to take possession. <laughs> what, what has he been for the last two weeks? Why all of a sudden does this guy appear? Between that hat, that shirt, and those pants. <laughs> You're the last person to be commenting on anything aesthetically. Why are you wearing my wife's hat anyway? Look at the, look at the combo you got going on here. I just wish I could look as cool as Ian and Tim. One day, maybe. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.